going to take a look at setting up some more material options. So before we get started, I'm going to draw a plane. And I'll draw a box in the middle of our plane. And I'm going to color our box red just so we can see it a little bit better for now. And we'll hit our material editor, M on the keyboard. And I'm going to set this material up under diffuse. I'm going to set that up as red as well. That's actually the color of our object. Uh, if we were to apply our object right now, or excuse me, apply our material right now and turn it on, it's, it's gray. So we want it back red again. So we're going to select that red color. All right, we're going to come over here to Standard, click on Standard, and the first thing that we're going to look at is the blend. Now what the blend is going to allow us to do is it's going to blend two materials together. We're going to discard our old material, and here is Material 1 and Material 2, so we're going to set our Material 1, again down here to the Diffuse, we're going to change that to one of these that we've got up here. So we'll select cellular, which are these bumps up here, and we can adjust these settings here, which we'll do later. Later, But we're going to go back up to the parent, make sure this is turned on, and we'll set our second material, and then diffuse, and we'll Set that to checker. Turn it on. Go back up to parent. And here we can see that we've got the bump going on on the box, but we need to change this mix amount. So this is going to be in a percent. So if we go to 100%, and we render that out we just see the checkerboard. So we're going to drop it back down to 50 percent and notice that now we can see the checkerboard and the bumps inside of our material editor here. So we're going to hit render again and we can see our bumps and our checkerboard inside of there and we can adjust that however we want if we want to see more, more of one or more of another back and forth. All right, if we change this over to, instead of blend composite, what that does is that gives us more materials that we can blend together, essentially. So we actually make this composite of materials, and, and we can add, and they have, by default, up to nine material. Set that a checkerboard. Set this to cellular. And we'll set this one to a bitmap. I'll go find that bitmap and I'll be right. Alright, we'll use this one that we used in another tutorial here. So we've got three materials on there. We'll turn the other materials off for now. And we can set the amounts here. So let's set this at 40, 40, 20. And you can see it in here, and we'll also render it so you'll see it up here as well. And let's got a little bit of the checkerboard, a little bit extra, so let's go to 30, and you can see that material coming through a little bit better there. 
Alright, the last one we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to set up a double-sided object. Right now, if we convert this to an editable poly and actually I'm gonna back up just a second. I'm going to add more segments in here. And we'll convert this to an editable poly now. We'll come back down. We'll cut the top off of it. And notice as we when we cut the top off of this the material is the same on the outside as it is on the inside. So now let's say that you want to create a planter box or something like that. And we're going to set this up again um, using our plane. And we'll make our plane green this time because we'll simulate grass. And I've got the box and I've already got it set up so it's got four segments in here. And we'll go to our material editor again. And this time we're going to choose a different one. Apply that to the box. And turn it on. And over here in our standard, this time we're going to go to double sided. Click OK. Discard old material. And again here we have two materials just, just like the blend. Only this time our facing material is going to be one side of the box. And our back material is going to be the inside of the box. So we'll go ahead and set this up just like we did before under Diffuse and Bitmap. And we'll choose, let's do, choose this block. Turn that on. We see the blocks here. And now we'll go back up to our back material. Select it. Go back down to Diffuse. Again, Bitmap. This time we'll do an dirt. Turn that on. We'll come back up here and we're going to render that out real quick. And notice when we render it out we're seeing the block here. So we're going to come back to our block and we're going to do an edit convert to editable poly so we can cut the top of it out. And now we'll render it again. And notice this time we see the block on the outside and we see the dirt on the inside. I'm going to rotate that around so you can see what's going on here. Make me a little bit of room here. render again. And notice we have the block all the way around our planter, dirt on the inside. I'm going to raise it up just a little bit. Re-render that. And now you see the dirt all the way on the inside of the box.